I see him as, I think some of the force that's coming through him is uh, collective. It's, it, he, is a, he is a kind of channel for things that haven't been said for a while uh, and that uh, in some sense uh, needed to be said. It's a, you know, he's a, he's a kind of channel of the return of the repressed in that sense. And he has the articulate uh, potency of a person who is caring more than just his personal thinking. He's, he's, he's got a, a, a kind of collective psyche's uh, archetypal drive that is uh, informing what, what and how he is saying what he is. What do you think those things are, those repressed archetypal things? Well, w well one is to um, certainly his, his calling upon uh, men to um, kind of basically find their strong center again and take responsibility for their lives and their actions and uh, to uh, become disciplined and uh, what, what uh, depth psychologists would say it would be to, uh, to, to basically integrate the Senex, the, the, that, the, the Saturn archetype, the archetype that brings in uh, a capacity for, for, for self-discipline, for a backbone, for, uh, that's grounded in tradition. I, th I think in some ways there's, there's certain simplifications that uh, he makes that are that are problematic. And I, get, I just gave one set of them there with the masculine and feminine, but uh, it's also striking to me how much he gets simplistically misunderstood by uh, both sides um, in, in the effort to impose a kind of stereotype on him, uh, which he, I mean, that famous uh, was it a BBC or Channel Four interview with uh, Channel Four with Channel Newman. Ch Channel 4 interview with, with Kathy Newman was uh, quite uh, an example of that where um, it didn't seem like she was really hearing the uh, complexity of what he was saying and already had a, a pigeonhole that she was trying to kind of hammer him into and he was reacting against. Um, I'm, uh, I deeply admire his capacity to um, engage the world with a kind of articulate force. He, uh, he's about uh, 12 years younger than I am and uh, I think has just a little bit more extroverted um, uh, predisposi predispositions in him than I do uh, where I, you know, I, I prefer being a little uh, less at the focus of, even though some of my my work obviously pushes boundaries, um, I'm not as um, eager f as he seems to be, or he certainly is capable of handling just a tremendous amount of like controversy and the onslaught of uh, aggressive questioning and so forth. Uh, and, he, and he tends to do well under aggressive questioning, which um, not, not all of us do. I think in general, aggressive questioning can make it more difficult for the person who's being questioned and the questioner to, to un dig deeper and unpack uh, uh, a, a more profound understanding that might reflect um, something that wouldn't have been included had that dialogue not taken place. So, but I have to say I, I am in uh, real admiration of, even though I don't agree with everything um, that Jordan Peterson says, it's, it's, uh, I really admire his spirit, uh, his capacity to uh, think under pressure and speak uh, to a number of audiences. I think your work has, has uh, been very uh, helpful in um, showing the, the, uh, the value of what uh, Jordan Peterson is doing. And you, you, you must also, given, given your work, be very pleased to see him kind of bringing Jung back into the mainstream or talking about Jung in such a high-profile way. Yes, uh, there, there are... Um, I don't know how much that's coming in as a... Uh, a return of the repressed, but it, but you know, it's it's interesting. Jung himself, uh, 
over the last decades seems to be going through uh, a quite a uh, an elevation within the culture. I and mean, when the New York Times gave that you know 17 pages in the New York Times Magazine to the publication of Jung's Red Book uh, about 10 years ago, um, that was pretty much the first positive thing that the New York Times had allowed itself to say about Jung since the very good obituary that it wrote for him in 1961. Uh, it, it got kind of overtaken by a, by, you know, a kind of, um, you know, narrower Freudian uh, uh, in, in intellectual viewpoint and then an, even anti-Freud at a certain point, anti-depth psychology generally. And I think, um, the more we're moving into what I would think of as the deeper and more mature form of the postmodern, and the more uh, voices that are being uh, allowed into the uh, uh, cultural conversation, the more uh, Jung, I think, is going to be recognized as not a flawless thinker, but a, but a necessary uh, and deep one, necessary for us to, to assimilate. He, he, he was carrying uh, deep deep truths that came from a very deep dive that he took, a, a kind of almost shamanic descent uh, that spontaneously uh, happened to him uh, in uh, the 1913 to 1920 period. And he came out of that with, with uh, real treasures, like basically, the, and that he gave to the culture, the idea that um, we don't understand human psychology unless we understand that psyche is soul and that uh, there is a spiritual dimension to uh, uh, human existence and to human fulfillment that if we do not take account of it, we are mutilating our, our, ourselves and will never really be psychologically healthy. Or his, his recognition that um, we're all embedded in a larger collective uh, psyche that is evolving and that is is going through its own spiritual transformations, and that we're in a kind of adventure of 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 consciousness individually, as well as uh, collectively. I think Jung's recognition of in the indiv on the individual level of how important the second half of life is, and the turn towards uh, away from external public achievement and more recognizing that the inner world and finding uh, meaning and finding a spiritual fulfillment that is not dependent on uh, youth and uh, a kind of robust uh, um, a, a quality of uh, being in the world, but has, is, is co connecting with some uh, deeper sources of, of archetypal meaning and purpose that give us um, a, a sense of life's value. All, all these are, are crucial gifts that Jung gave us and, and I think more and more people are assimilating.